This is huge progress for this movement, but as with all things, progress is incremental. It's one step forward to Bill O'Reilly's back. The anti-American propaganda continues with a number of far-left zealots trying to divide Americans along color lines. Oh, great teaser. I love knowing when I'm gonna start screaming at the TV, you know? <laughs> so, so I can alert my downstairs neighbors, right? Basically, my neighbors know there are two times when things get loud at Casa Wilmore. One, during O'Reilly. <laughs> two, whenever Halle Berry's in town. Those two times, it's gonna get loud. It's gonna get loud. And sometimes we watch O'Reilly, all right? Okay, this should be great stuff. Uh, let's take a look. According to the FBI, there were one million 163,000 violent crimes in 2013, last stats available. Only 3,500 were classified as race-based hate crimes. Only 3,500? The last time Bill O'Reilly said only 3,500 was when someone asked him his cholesterol level. Burn. Okay, all right, all right, right cheap shot, whatever. Okay. Let's assume that these numbers are true. Even though Bill isn't a big numbers guy, like when he said he was covering the Falklands War but was really 1,200 miles away. All right, that's okay. No, okay, okay. Okay, only 3,500. Uh, it still works out to 9.59 race-based hate crimes per day. According to my analysis, that's about 9.58 too many. Yeah. Right? Too many. Yes? I am willing to concede there's 0.01 that probably deserved it. I'm just saying. Sorry, probably shouldn't say that. I don't know. Okay, well, this is good. Well, at least O'Reilly always has guests on to talk down to, right? Okay, what brother is he gonna have on to talk about this? Is it Juan Williams? He's on the left. Nah, he's not angry enough. Uh, oh, or you know what? Maybe it'll be uh, that black lady from Outnumbered. Yeah. She's got a bit of a toot, right? Right, right, right? Oh, no, 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 I know. It'll be that crazy black preacher who was talking about having guns in church. Remember him? Right. Okay, which black fox are you gonna bring out? With us here in New York City, Monica Crowley. And from Washington, Kirsten Powers, both of Fox News analysts. Hold up, two white ladies? You guys are gonna have a nuanced conversation about this racial stuff? Okay, okay, okay. I guess this is the conversation I've been waiting for. Oh, Fox, you always surprise me, but you never disappoint me. <laughs> actually, to be fair, uh, poor Fox contributor Kirsten Powers actually did try to bring some reason to the proceedings. I do think that racism is a, is a serious issue in this country, and I don't know why you are so unable to see that. Well, because and you, I don't think it's an so epidemic of racism. I don't think that. it's ingrained in the society, and every country on Earth has racist elements in it. Racist elements? I mean, what's a racist element? Negronium? <laughs> what does that mean? I'll tell you where you're gonna find tons of Negronium, South Carolina. I'm just saying, if you're looking for it. You know what, I can't take this anymore, you guys. If O'Reilly can't find a brother to have on this show, then I'm gonna invite myself on. Dre, play that last clip again. I do think that racism is a, is a serious issue in this country, and I don't know why you are so unable to see that. Well, because and you, I don't think it's an so epidemic of racism. I don't think that. it's ingrained in the society. <laughs> oh, hold on, Kristen, hold on. I got this this time, okay? Um, actually, Bill, you're right. Uh, it's not an epidemic because this shit happens all the time. It's not a plague, it's the common f***ing cold. <laughs> Next. I'm saying that, that the world is being told by anti-American haters that we are a rank racist society and that is a lie. All right, you, Monica. Yes. Are there individual racists in this of country? Of course. Sadly, yes. Does institutional racism exist anymore? No, it does not. Okay, okay. First of all, why is Monica Crowley answering her own questions? I don't know. <laughs> does it concern me about the state of her mental health? Yes, it does. <laughs> Look. Look. Hey, all I'm saying it's bad enough you have three white people debating about race, and then to have one answering her own softball race questions? Slavery was part of this country's history. So what? So what? Slavery gets us so what? That's how to argue your point about why we're still dealing with this racial problem in America? What you taking the Holocaust, whatevs? 
Slavery is what the whole Confederate flag debate is all about. You cannot so wet it away. What kind of... Everybody does not acknowledge right. that. That's well, then what you're talking you're about the lunatic you're missing, fringe. No, you're, no, it's not the lunatic fringe. There are actually right. a lot of people Tell in this country Kirsten. who are racist, and uh, you just exactly. refused. You, I mean, I, I really uh, have to What kind of noise is that? I mean, I, I mean, how I many more friends about do you have? You can't no. see what? what's happening because I, what's most happening? Americans are not racist. Oh, no, they're what? not. Really? So how many black friends do you have? How many black friends do you have? If you think most Americans are racist, I'm ashamed of you. Do you have and you got all mad? Huh? <laughs> I don't have anything smart to say here. It's just hilarious. <laughs> In fact, can we just play that back one more time? One more time. Just play it back. Just play it back. How really? many black friends do you have? If you think most Americans are racist, no, I'm ashamed I, 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 of you. She asked you again and you said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. And Bill, you know what I say to the fact that you think racism doesn't exist in America? So what?